All right, so now we're going to do a question on vectors, and it's a type 2 kind of question where we actually make use of similar triangles to solve a, a type of question that looks like this, ratio of two areas. All right, so first of all, we start off with the part A. They're asking you to find, express a vector OR in terms of vectors A and B. So OR, basically, if you take a look at the question, is from this point to this point. So clearly, there's no direct route, first and foremost, so we're going to take an indirect route. We take a look at the vectors that are given to us and we realize that, hmm, okay, OR could be expressed as O to Q, and then you continue from Q to R, given to us. So we just write it down in terms of the vectors involved, and we are actually adding them up. Okay, we simplify it and we realize that we get this. Just a nice little 3A as the vector. Okay, so now moving on. Area of SQR. Oh, S-O-R, sorry. S-O-R, the big one. And S-P-Q. Now, these are actually similar triangles. How do I know that? Recall, how do I know triangles are similar? There are a few tests, but the most telltale sign is that actually that these, because the sides are parallel. And what happens is that when they are parallel, actually the angles are the same. This pair, and also this pair. So actually by the A-A test, these two triangles are similar. That's why we are looking at a similar triangles type of question. So, recall that when the two figures are similar, basically the ratio of the areas can be actually expressed as the ratio of their lengths squared. So, SOR and SPQ. We're going to choose a known pair of sides. For example, we realize that, oh, actually, OR is already 3A. Let me use my pencil to write that. Okay, pencil, pencil. Ah, okay, OR is actually expressed as 3A. And PQ happens to be already 2A. These are vectors. However, we want to use their lengths. We're going to compare their lengths. So actually, magnitude-wise, you realize that actually this is 3 units and this is 2 units because they both share the same vector A. So, I'm going to make use of the two lengths of actually OR, not the vector OR, but just the side OR and the side of PQ because these are the two corresponding sides to these two triangles. So OR basically is talking about three units on top and PQ is talking about two units below. So flipping squared, eventually I'll get the answer of 9 over 4. That's the answer.